This is the second part of our series on Facebook and in particular we're talking about Facebook and the state of Wyoming and its stand as far as uh, on teachers and students in Facebook and so uh, the S Professional Teacher Standards Board has the Professionals Conduct Guide and we will attach that link at the end so you can go in case you haven't seen that or in case you haven't looked through that recently. Uh, but in particular today we're going to talk about Facebook and their specific stand on Facebook is if you don't want the superintendent reading it aloud to you in a meeting don't post it. That's coming from the state of Wyoming so that's pretty strong language. Um, be aware once you post something it is posted forever. Things we've already talked about understand that privacy on the internet is an oxymoron. When adding photos don't share them. Delete any other uh, off-color comments that are made by friends on your post and as we talked about in series one do not tag photos um, it just makes you an easy target and the last piece here is don't use the name of coworkers, bosses or students especially uh, when when you're talking about things on Facebook as well and so we're gonna just kind of show you a couple examples of how Facebook can easily connect you in a situation you didn't necessarily intend. So the ideas of public and permanent that we threw out at the last last uh, video series that we threw out and it is and the idea of social versus private are things highlighted by Richard Geary and you can Google him and find out some other information but the idea of public and permanent once you post it or send it it's out there and even if you do delete it somebody else has a copy of it. So the idea of social versus private, when you're looking at Facebook, social, can anything you put on there really truly be considered private? Um, no. And if you're, as the state of Wyoming looks at that, that uh, is basically considered an oxymoron, as, as the state of Wyoming put it. So when we keep those things in mind, uh, it makes the decisions you make uh, about things you post and say on Facebook a little bit easier if you will. So we're going to talk about two examples just to make sure you understand how easy it is for information to end up where you didn't intend it to end up. So you post a, a comment that is not good whatever that may be uh, taken out of context or seen potentially by somebody that uh, didn't know you or didn't didn't approve of you or didn't like you or wanted to use it against you um, those kind of comments but uh, it's private it's your after school you can say those kind of things and your best friend replies to it and says hey hang in there there's no sweat the the weekends here or uh, the next day is going to happen or, or whatnot or gives you some encouragement a lot of comments that all of you have seen or or been part of on Facebook and then the other side of that story is the best friend is also a mother of two and so as soon as she posts a comment on there then luckily her kids can also see her comments um, yeah our kids are both in high school or both in middle school and they can see those things as well and the nice part about it for you is they can also see your post now uh, it, it could be totally innocent but it could be totally taken out of context and so you didn't intend it for kids to see it you didn't intend it for other parents to see it, those kind of things, and those comments um, as well as your post are now all part of the discussion and so you must be careful with what you say. The next example um, applies to our middle school and high school teachers in particular uh, because your your students might be more apt to be on Facebook. So there's that 21 year old college student and he posts or she posts something as a typical 21 year old college student would post uh, that we probably wouldn't agree is super appropriate for high school kids but they're 21 they're college it's none of our business uh, as far as that goes but we decide to reply and so we make a comment like hey have fun at spring break or oh, uh, hope that was a good good thing or I remember going to this place well, when I was in college or something like that that in general seems very innocent. Uh, with that reply uh, now that discussion that that 21 year old college student is having all his college buddies can see it they can see oh and they know who Mr. X or Mrs. So and so is and they're like oh yeah that's funny and and they're like yeah that's there's nothing wrong with that and, and 
you're, we're not really concerned about that. But that 21-year-old college student is also friends with the high school students. And so he has a couple friends that are high school students and they also see your post. And so in their minds, right, wrong, or indifference, potentially in their parents' minds, it suddenly looks like uh, approval of certain things or approval of a statement or approval of a, of a comment as that goes. And so this student really thinks, yeah, this teacher is cool. And so they, they like that comment. Now all of their friends have access to potentially seeing what those comments or what that dialogue, what that discussion on that post was. And so although the teacher never intended for high school students, never friended a high school student, never took part in discussing things like this with high school students, suddenly their comments with an adult who's out of high school uh, is, is suddenly thrown into the spotlight of what is going on um, at the school. And so this is just a, a couple of examples on how nothing really is private, nothing is locked, if you will, that you post or say on Facebook. And you, we must be careful with that because we are held accountable to that. And all, and all we need to do is Google teachers plus Facebook and, and see some different cases where teachers overwhelmingly lose. So please keep yourself safe out there with what you say and what you do on Facebook and uh, we will post the link to the State of Wyoming's Professional Code of Conduct and hopefully this was helpful for you.